Hello and welcome to the garden shop. In this video I want to show you how to grow tomato seeds. Now tomatoes are a great uh, vegetable to grow. Uh, there are very many varieties giving you a range of colours and flavours. You can grow cherry tomatoes such as the sun gold variety which is a yellow ch uh, cherry tomato. There's also a, a cherry tomato called tumbler which is very useful for, for growing in uh, hanging baskets as they, they actually tumble down from a height. Uh, they also trail and can spread along uh, the ground. There are other varieties then, and the one that we're going to sow today is called uh, Tomato um, Shirley, which is a high yielding tomato with a great flavour and gives you large oval, a large round shaped fruits. Now, uh, so when to sow your uh, tomato? Well, generally we sow our tomato seeds early indoors. Uh, because tomatoes take quite a long time to grow, develop and uh, for their fruits to ripen. So they have quite a long growing season. And that is why we, we sow them early in uh, early to mid spring, just to give them a, a good start. And then by uh, August and September time we can uh, eat the fruits. So uh, the, the process then in, in terms of uh, sowing your tomato seeds, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to sow them. And I have here is a 24 cell seed tray with some potting compost. So I'm just going to spread the potting compost now over the, uh, the cells. Let's pour some more in. So what you want to use then is just a general potting compost. Something that has a very fine uh, consistency. So what you'll find with a potting compost is it doesn't have that much fertilizer in it, not much nutrients, and uh, that's okay for seeds and seedlings as they don't require a very strong feed until they're older. So when you're finished filling your cells with compost, just run your hand over it just to get a nice level surface on the top. Uh, and then I'll just give it a little tap down like this. See that it compacts down a bit. You can see a little need for more compost here and there. If you find any large pieces of, of straw, you want to just take them out. Okay. What I'm using here underneath is I have a, a garden, standard garden tray. Uh, it's very useful if you're potting up or uh, sowing seeds, it just helps to keep the place neat and tidy and also allows you, once you have your seeds sown, you can use the general garden tray just to hold your, your seed trays and you can also use it then to water the tray and therefore water your seedlings and seeds. Uh, for now I'm just going to, that now that I have the seed uh, tray prepared, I'm going to soak the, the compost and with that I'm just using a pressure sprayer and that will give a good soakage of all of the uh, cells here. So you just want to give it a good pump to get the pressure built up. And you want to give your compost a very good soaking. Once you have the compost soaked in, we can begin to sow the seeds. So I'm just going to finish off watering in, making sure I get all of the cells, especially the cells around the edge, which tend to dry out a bit quicker. Okay, now we can start to sow. So we have 24 cells in this tray. I have my packet of seeds here. I'm just going to tip the seeds out into my hand. So again, this is a tomato seed, a uh, tomato variety, surely, but we can do this for all different varieties of tomato plants. So, just going to tip them out into my hand. <coughs> so you can see the seeds here now. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take roughly three at a time and place three in around the center of each cell. Okay. Uh, 
No, with a, a seed tray like this, I mean, you could probably grow four different varieties or even more using maybe one row for each of your varieties. Okay. So it doesn't have to be too accurate, just to get roughly around three seeds per cell. Once I have these uh, done, then I'm going to just lightly cover them with compost. Okay. Keep it going here now. Then once the seedlings have been covered with compost, we're just going to put them uh, in a bright location that is warm and it will take about two weeks for the seeds to germinate. Once the seeds have germinated, you give them about two weeks and then when they're large enough to handle, you prick them out into nine centimeter pots, such as these pots right here. That's a, a nine centimeter pot there. So you'll have one seedling per pot in there. So I have all the seeds now in place. Just gonna place the rest of them back into their packaging. Make sure that those seeds don't get wet. So now we have all our seeds in place. I'm just going to lightly cover them with compost again. <clears throat> and then just give that a good press down. So what you want to get is a good contact between the compost and the seed itself. If you have any seeds that are shown, just give them another light coating. You don't want to cover them too deeply, just a light covering. Okay. And that's your seeds now, they're all ready and they're sold now. So what I'm going to do now is really it's all about what you do with your seedlings next. And what I have here is a, a propagation lid which we can place over our seed tray. Uh, and I'll just push that to the side. Now what you can do is with a seed tray and a garden tray like this, you can place an additional uh, set of 24 cells right here and have another propagation lid on top of that. Therefore you have a really complete growing kit with the, uh, the cells, the seed tray lid and the garden tray. So that's the seed sowed. The next thing you would do then is where to locate your seedlings. You want to put them in a warm location which has a good bit of sunlight uh, and let your seedlings uh, germinate. They want about 20 degree, 18 degrees Celsius is ideal for your tomato seeds. Again, they will germinate and then two weeks later, we prick them out into uh, nine centimeter pots like this here. And those nine centimeter pots could easily be put into a propagation kit such as what we have here. This, pro this high dome propagation kit fits seven to eight uh, nine centimeter pots. Uh, your tomato plants can then grow up about 10 centimeters in height and once your tomato plants have grown to a height like that you then transplant them again in, and this is for the final time and you can transplant them into something like what we have here which is our tomato grow pot and you can see that in a uh, position right here a tomato grow pot is placed inside a grow bag such as this here and the tomato plant is grown up through the center of the grow pot uh, if you don't want to use the grow pot, you can grow your tomatoes directly into a grow bag like this. You would fit about three tomato plants per grow bag. Uh, alternatively, you can grow them directly into the soil. But as always, with a tomato plant, it's best to grow them indoors in a polytunnel or greenhouse. So that's uh, the, the position of your tomato plants. In terms of care and maintenance, uh, there's a number of things to consider. Uh, watering is important to give a regular water supply to your plants, checking them, making sure that they never dry out and never get too wet. If they uh, aren't watered regularly, the tomatoes uh, fruits can split. Uh, feeding then as well is important. And uh, we have here is a tomato feed, which is a high in potassium feed, uh, which is important for fruit development. You'll begin to feed your tomato plants once the flowers have emerged and you will want to feed them once every week. Support is also very important for tomato plants and you can see here we have something else available on thegardenshop.ie which is the tomato support spirals. 
So these work similar, similar to our cane supports in that the tomato plants will wrap around the spirals, or in this case around the canes, to find support and keep them upright and up off the ground. So that's it really. Other things to consider then is pruning, which uh, we'll talk about in another video, which is a process called uh, pricking out or pinching out. And that's also very important to reduce the number of uh, fruiting stems on each of your tomato plants. Basically you want to keep your fruiting stems to about four or five main stems and that way you will have a sufficient number of large fully ripened fruit, uh, fruits. So that's it really, that is a video on how to grow, how to sow tomato seeds from the garden shop that I eat.